was that uh, prayer uh, vigil with uh, some of the members of uh, Congress, mostly uh, Democrats, who came out on the steps of uh, the United States uh, Capitol uh, carrying uh, candles, and uh, they stood there uh, remembering those uh, who uh, lost their lives, those members of uh, law enforcement. They uh, had a prayer, uh, some songs, and uh, they stood there for a moment of silence to remember those who lost their lives after protecting the United States uh, Capitol, and really to wrap up this day of uh, commemorations throughout uh, the afternoon. Uh, members of Congress uh, spoke about what happened on January 6th, some of them uh, telling uh, their experience, what they endured that day when uh, those rioters stormed uh, the United States Capitol. And of course, this day had started uh, with this very solemn and forceful speech uh, by uh, Joe Biden, who really uh, started out the day along with his vice president, Kamala Harris. Joe Biden, uh, very forceful against his predecessor, uh, saying that Donald Trump, without naming him, uh, was responsible for what happened on January 6th because of the lies that he spread about the 2020 election months even before January 6th. He had some tough words for his predecessor, calling him the defeated former president, talking about Donald Trump's bruised ego and how that bruised ego was more important to Donald Trump than protecting the U.S. democracy and the U.S. Constitution. Joe Biden also urged Americans to unite and uh, to stand together to fight and defend this U.S. Uh, democracy in the face of uh, these attacks on uh, the democracy, whether uh, their uh, attacks are very uh, concrete attacks like the one uh, we saw uh, on January 6th a year ago, but also attacks on uh, voting rights. And that is something uh, that he's hinting at for next week because uh, he is uh, set to have a very uh, important speech on uh, voting rights. The fight for democracy, he said, uh, is very important, is crucial. And that is what he's going to be focused on uh, going forward, uh, ending that speech on a note of hope, uh, talking about the United States of America.